all right guys welcome back to the end of the video this video is dedicated to the comment of bimal thanks for making such an informative video could you please make a video on preparation of max image uh, in this video i'm going to talk about all the things about like preparation of the data set for uh, random forest classification water body detection from satellite imagery if you haven't watched this video i highly recommend you to was this uh, and i'll provide the link in the video description so let's get started all right so in order to make the uh, satellite imagery and the max layer corresponding max layer you need to download the satellite imagery first so the first step is to download satellite imagery so i have written code in the google earth engine which will uh, download the imagery for the uh, your area of interest so here is the code uh, i'll don't worry about it i'll uh, share in the video description so the first thing is like you need to prepare for the your area of interest that means the boundary of the image which uh, you are interested with so in order to do so um i'm going to use the xgis pro but uh, you can do the similar thing in qgis or uh, xgis uh, any other gis softwares so in order to do so in uh, xgis pro so i can right click on any of the folder and then create new and then create the shape file and uh it's creating it so now i can write aoi area of interest and then uh, my coordinate system will be uh, wgs 1984 sorry uh, wgs 1984 and then i think uh, you are ready to go so make sure your geometry type is polygon and then run hit the run button so after that you will see the aoi geometry over here but uh, if i turn off turn this off so i don't have anything so in order to make your aoi so simply click on aoi and then go to edit button and then uh, you need to create the feature so for me it's aoi and if i click on aoi it will uh, provide me the several options for uh, like creating the polygon so if you are going to create the polygon hit this button and then draw whatever shape you like but uh, in my case i'm trying to create the rectangle so i'll create the rectangle and then click here here and then you can uh, make your aoi whatever you want so in my case maybe uh, i can make like this and then don't forget to save this button and uh, let me clear this out and then uh, let me change the transparency so now my aoi is ready but uh, previous previous my aoi previously my aoi was uh, smaller and uh, now you can create whatever shape or size you like in this way and after that uh, the second step is to like download the imagery from google earth engine in order to do so you need to upload your aoi file in the assets so in the assets so you can uh, create new and then click on save file and then the save file name of course you can write aoi and then select the source file name and then make sure to upload this all files shp uh, dbf prj ssx uh, cpg uh, this whatever file you have uh, you just created uh, here so you can simply upload those files so in my case so I need to upload um, where is the uh, random forest and then data set and then supplementary data and then I need to upload these files uh, not the log files uh, other than log files I need to upload these files since I already uh, have this file uh, here so test water bodies so if I uh, like if you want to import it simply use this arrow icon and then it will be available here and then rename it to AOI 
so since i already have the aoi so i don't need to do anything and then this is the function to max the cloud so it will simply check if whether there is cloud or not and if it's cloud then it will uh, do some image processing and remove the cloud and uh, here uh, i have like downloaded copernicus uh, sentinel 2 data set so i filtered the date is 2021 to 2022 uh, and then i like filter it if the cloud pixel percent is less than five then take the image and then i filter it based on uh, my area of interest which is this uh, rectangle that i created in arcgis pro and then map uh, max to cloud and then simply i clip this image and for the required bands actually i need only rgb bands and then this one is nir band b8 and i take the uh, since uh, this this data set uh, will provide you lots of imagery in my case it's 43 imagery that uh, matches with this filter after that i need to like filter uh, those i mean I, either i have to select one of the imagery or i have to take a mean or median so i in my case i take median value and then i selected only the required bands and then uh, this is just for visualization and i added the map ay to the uh, map and also i added my data set to the map here and then i try to export it to the google drive if i run this cell so it will simply give you the uh, area of interest and then the uh, actual imagery so here i have rgb image so it's it will be available here and then if you check the tags and uh, there will be tags name is sent to and then you need to run this uh, maybe you can change the drive folder and then maybe file name and then if you hit run then it will be downloaded in your google drive and after that uh, simply i loaded the same file downloaded file over here uh, don't be confused so uh, the uh, google earth engine that particular area of interest where i have shown you is uh, from the test set so this is the actual imagery i have downloaded from this code and after that the second step is to try to create the max of this layer so let me close it maybe go back okay so in order to create the max so you need to either digitize the river or digitize the feature manually or uh, if you have the zip file then you can simply download it so in in my case the zip file was available in the nepal hydro data home data dot org so i simply downloaded the polygon version of uh, the water set polygon representation of water bodies don't worry i will provide this link in the description as well so it's 62 mb and simply download it and then if you load it in uh, load it in gis so it will look like something like this so these are the water bodies in uh, whole nepal actually you can apply this uh, random forest classification for whole nepal and then try to predict uh, try to see the water bodies from satellite imagery and uh, one drawback of this uh, using this data set is like uh, some of the river or lakes might might not be available uh, at the present condition or uh, they might be like they might have increased the size so those things are not included that's why uh, we are not getting high accuracy because these water body are not that accurate uh, accurately represented so if i zoom to the pohara region so these shape represent the water bodies and uh, now i have this water bodies so one thing uh, I, I have to do is i have to clip these water bodies to my area of interest so in order to do so 
so you can search for clip and maybe uh, I don't know sometimes this clip function uh, give me error but uh, I use pairwise clip but it's okay if it uh, work for you and then my input feature will be the uh, what said and then my output feature uh, I mean clip feature will be area of interest and then if you hit run this cell so you will get the uh, this water bodies only within your area of interest and okay um let me uncheck this so maybe okay let me remove this so now uh, from all the rewards uh, extent I have created this uh, this simply uh, the water bodies file for only my area of interest now the next thing is like we need to rasterize this bodies water bodies so in order to do so you can simply search for feature to raster feature to raster and then run this cell but the problem with this is like uh, what I encountered is my actual shape of X train is not matching with the uh, max imagery so I don't know I don't know how to like make the actual shape so there is one uh, option called snap raster it should have the it should get the similar property of our raster imagery but uh, I'm not getting what I expected for so in order to like do so um, I have one package uh, in Python I have wrote so it's called geotile so I, I can use the same package for preparation of this data set so okay let me open this file uh, maybe I can create new file new Python file and here make sure you have uh, installed the geotile package so if you are installed then it's okay so let me comment out this cell and then uh, okay so with the help of geotile package since I already installed that's why I'm commenting that package and since uh, if you install this package then you just need to like import the file uh, like this from geotile import geotile gt geotile and path to the raster file and path will be like uh, path is like uh, since I'm trying for uh, x train data so path will be slash data um, maybe I can give the absolute path home copy path and then okay okay this is my absolute path um, and then if you print gt dot meta you should get the metadata of this uh, raster so let's try it okay this is the metadata representing this x train dot tiff uh, which has width and height uh, I have mentioned here so in order to like rasterize the imagery so uh, you need to run this run this code so okay I'm simply copying pasting uh, gt dot rasterize input to the uh, input vector file so my input vector will be the uh, AOI file which is right here copy path sorry it's quite long okay maybe maybe I can write R as well and the second uh, option is out path so output where you want to save your data set so maybe in the data I can save copy and then paste and then uh, there will be test uh, x train y train 
because it's uh, the max image dot tiff and then uh, you don't need to provide value column value column is for like uh, to rasterize the different uh, to rasterize the classified data set what i mean is if your data have the different class like within the water bodies if you have the river and lake uh, represented by one or zero values then you can use the value column otherwise no need so simply now you can run it um, okay let me see the error i think the error is this one okay okay so now i got my like uh, my actual uh, white rain file so if you load it in any gis software so you will see the uh, see this kind of max so which is perfectly matching with my x train data set so yeah it's it's perfectly matching and then if you try to see the uh, like okay maybe gt dot close i can close the previous file and then uh, again i can open the new file uh, that i just created i want to show you the metadata of this uh, recently created data and then it should match with the previous one uh, data and then test white train test uh, y train dot tiff gt dot meta okay so if you check the metadata now it has same width and height of course we need count as one since it has only one band uh, which is binary and then uh, coordinate system is also same so uh, in this way like you can create your max file and i did the same thing for the test data set as well that's how i created uh, the actual data set and their corresponding marks so yeah that's all about this uh, video i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching